Now we're going to discuss the equation of the parabola, particularly the vertex form. No? We have three problems today. The first one, we're asked to transform the equation into the vertex form, which is uh, y is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus k. So the given equation is y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 4. What we're going to do is first we're going to complete the square of this equation by uh, adding and subtracting 1. No? So as if, as if we are not doing anything. You know? mm -hmm. So in this one here, we add 1 and then we subtract 1. No? So what happens? No? If we add 1, we have here x squared plus 2x plus 1 no? minus 1 minus 4. No? So we're not altering the uh, equation. No? So then we're going to factor this uh, trinomial here. So we have now factoring this trinomial x plus 1 quantity squared. And this one, negative 1 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 5. So we have this, uh, the vertex form of the given part of our uh, equation. No? So uh, next we're going to graph this one by assigning values to this uh, for uh, original equation. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 1. If x is equal to uh, y is equal to 4, 0, negative 4, negative 2 and 4, negative 1 and 5. So if we examine carefully this one, you no, know, and compare it to the uh, formula for the vertex form, h and k will be the center of the, or I mean the vertex of the parabola, no? which is h and k, you know. So we have here in this uh, uh, vertex form of the given equation we have here. So our h is equal to negative 1 and our k is negative 5. So the vertex of this uh, equation here is this one. No? So if we have this uh, group here, the axis of symmetry is equal to negative 1. The value of, of the uh, x you know, in the vertex form. You know? So this one is negative 1. That is the axis of symmetry. You know? and then we assign the values to get the whole uh, form of the curve. You know? So that's it. No? We, after getting this one and then assigning values for x and y and then graph it, we're going to uh, have this form. No? So we go to our uh, second problem here. We are also asked to transform the quadratic function to the vertex form. y is equal to a times quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. No? And also given this equation here, uh, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So if you examine the uh, uh, general form of the equation for the quadratic equation, we have your ax squared plus bx plus c. So similarly, we're going to uh, uh, factor, no? 2x squared plus 5x, no? We add and subtract, no? we transform this into a perfect uh, trinomial. So doing that, first we factor 2. No? After factoring 2 to this uh, uh, equation here, we get this one. 2 times quantity x squared plus 5 over 2x minus 3, no? quantity minus 3. So we, we complete the square of this uh, uh, binomial here. And to get the C, this C here, no? for the perfect trinomial, uh, we have this, uh, to get the value of C is, uh, we square B over 2, no? the B is 5, and 5 divided by 2, and quantity squared. So we have here C is equal to 5 over 2, quantity, uh, over 5 over 2, over 2, quantity squared. 
So getting the value of C, we have here 25 over 16. And then, uh, if we add 25 over 16, so as not to alter the equation, we also subtracted uh, 25 over 16, no? And so, after which we factor this uh, portion of this one, this x squared plus 5 over 2x plus 25 over 16, and then this one, this uh, negative 25 over 16, we, no, we combine this one to the negative 3, so. So we have now a perfect trinomial here. We can factor that out. So factoring this one, we have here uh, x uh, two times quantity x plus five over four quantity squared. We get the square root of this uh, uh, constant term here. Plus, so negative ten by uh, over sixteen negative three. This one, no, we. We uh, simplify this by dividing 8 by 2, no? So negative 25 over 8 minus 3. And so we combine this uh, portion here. We have here negative 25 minus 24 over 8. So this is the factored form of the uh, tri uh, trinomial here. So this one, no? is a uh, negative 49 over 8. So the vertex of this one the vertex is h and k, which is a 5 over 4, negative 5 over 4, and then k is a negative 49 over 8. So this is our answer here. We're not going to, so we have already the uh, graphing, uh, graphical solution of the uh, first problem, so we are not, we're leaving it to you to study, you know. So we have the last uh, problem here, the third problem here. We are asked to find the equation of the quadratic function that has the given vertex v and passing to the point p. You know, v is equal to 1 and 2, you know, x and y, uh, coordinates 1 and 2, and p is 2 and 3. So to get the equation of the quadratic function, we're just uh, assign all this value here to the vertex form of the parabola, which is y is equal to a times quantity x minus a, minus a is quantity squared plus k. So y is equal to uh, the value of the point 2 and 3, no? the value of x, x, x and y. So this is x, no? and we're going to uh, get the value of a here. No? So, uh, y is equal to 3, no? This 3 here is equal to a, which is unknown, x minus a quantity squared. So, x here is equal to 2. No? So, this one is 3, the y is equal to a, 2 minus 1 is 1, h is equal to 1, no? So, this is the vertex, no? the coordinate plus the value of k is 2. No? Assigning that, no, 2 minus 1, quantity squared is equal to 1. So this one is a, this one is 2, and this one is 3. No? Getting the value of a, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Get, uh, having this uh, value here, we just, uh, uh, we're just going to uh, substitute this value here to the vertex form, no? So a is equal to 1. And the final equation is y is equal to 1x minus 1 quantity squared plus 2. So this is our final answer. So this is the equation in the vertex form. So thank you for watching our videos for today. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our videos in our YouTube channel. and. And uh, if ever you have any questions and suggestions, please uh, send this to us in Tagalog or English. And then you can help us to improve our way of presentation. So thank you and see you again later.